Hi designers, today we are going to be looking at this A-line dress with spaghetti draft. So we'll be working with our dartless bodies. As you can see, I have my front pattern and my back pattern. So I'm going to be taking the back away for now because we need to deal with the front first. So first and foremost, what we need to do here is to determine the length of the strap. So from the neck point, I'm going to be coming down by five to six inches. So I'm using six here. You could use more if you want it to be lower than that, but the lesser, the better. So from the center front, you come in by your nipple to nipple measurement. So after you have gotten the nipple to nipple measurement, mine is four. So I've marked it and I'm connecting it with my underarm point like that, which stand as your new armhole. So for now, I'm going to determine how deep I want the neckline to be. So I'm not doing much. I just want it to come down like one inch from this very point. So from the shoulder down, you can now mark the the length of your strap so that will give you the idea of how long your strap is going to be so we are cutting off these pieces for now okay so this is us manipulating our dartless bodies our basic dartless bodies to a strapless spaghetti stick so I'll do what we did to the front, we are doing it to the back. So this is a back pattern. You come down as low as you want. So for this, I came down by seven inches and I'm also doing the nipple to nipple thing. From the center back, I measured the nipple to nipple measurement and I'm connecting it to the back underarm point. So from the new arm hole. This is basically me doing the same thing I did, okay, to the front. So for the neckline part, I did not measure any neckline. I just used the, the same point where I mark for the length of the strap as a neckline because it's the back anyway. So here is our front and the back pattern, pattern set. So now we are transferring it to the fabric. So we are using this beautiful um, Duchess black fabric. Okay, so now after you have place your pattern paper on your fabric like so so the, i'm using about two years of fabric so i'm working with the front first so it's going to be on fold like that so just carefully watch the way i've placed my fabric as you can see the neckline is um at the edge of the fabric while the hemline is not at the edge this is so, just so you can have some free flow of the fabric from somewhere, you know, around the waist all the way down. Also note that the pattern I am using is not the same as the length of the dress. So as you can see me do here, I'm extending the length of the dress all the way to my desired measurement all right so here is me adding my sewing allowance because i'm not going to be cutting on the first line i drew so i'm basically adding one inch sewing allowance and for you to measure your length the length of your dress on on the fabric like this you have to place your tape from that point where we did the nipple to nipple that sharp point okay so you're going to place your tape you know starting from six inches okay don't do from one starting from six inches like i'm doing to the back now so i would quickly just explain so you place your tape like so then you can determine the length of the dress so i am basically repeat what i did to the front i'm doing the same to the back so I wanted to call this off camera, but you know, I needed to explain this part to you. So you place your tape 
with the measurement you have used to cut the upper part of the bodies while we were alterating the pattern so once you have determined your length okay so you replace the pattern as i am doing don't forget the neckline is going to be at the edge of the fabric while the hem of the pattern is not going to be as straight so to determine the space you want for the for, for the for the hem part there I mean the hem part of the pattern even the pattern is short like I said you can do two to three inches you know from the hem of the pattern like that okay so now to the end of the fabric your fabric will actually determine how much spread you can have okay so you can do more than two inches that I have done here all right so that's that about that i hope you understand if you don't kindly pause and watch and listen again i'm sure you'll get it so here is me connecting from my underarm to the length of the fabric so here i'm adding i'm adding the sewing allowance to it again okay so i'm going to be connecting it like so all the way to the hem the camera cannot capture the entire entire length so that's why you are not seeing everything okay so don't forget to add your sewing allowance to the arm hole as well as the neckline as i'm doing here so guys if you are yet to subscribe to my channel and you have watched up to this point and you are enjoying what you are watching kindly subscribe to my channel now let's talk about the strap so for the strap you're going to bring out the cutout parts so you measure the length you have for the front so you continue from where you stop for the front measurement and continue at the back because your, your strap is going to be one piece and then the right is down this is one way but this is not what we are doing so you write whatever you have down if you are going to be attaching your strap separately that means you'll be having facing for this type of a-line spaghetti strap now place your measurement starting with the cut out point so i'm starting with the back so i measure seven upward then i follow the armhole then I continue from the front arm O, okay? So I'm going to count the what we came down by, which was six inches for the front. I'm going to count it there to have a one long strip, okay? So I'm going to here to cut out the strip, the strip for the neckline is on bias, is one and a half inch. Then this is the strip for this for the strap. So I have 14 inches on four year by the time you open it you have 28 inches so i'm going to be surprised that is not gaping it's not too long so you reduce it by the measurement by one inch okay so here i'm going to be showing you how to go about it then when you're cutting it you cut your strap on bias okay you cut your strap on bias so before you fix you're going to before you fix for the strap you're going to start with your neckline make sure you take care of your neckline first so i've also gone ahead to cut a strip for the neckline so i can have a neat finishing on my neckline we're not going to be using facing for this type of um, um for this type of strap dress so i've gotten the length i need for the bias on the neckline so i've pinned it all down always a short pin so this is for the back and this is for the front so always label the way your fabric label your pattern it's easy so to avoid any mixed up so i've gone ahead to join the uh, pieces the strap to the neckline so you trim out 
whatever you have sewn there so you don't have it too bulky around the neckline after trimming it out you can notch okay you can notch i i didn't i didn't put where i notch here so don't forget to notch it will make your neckline to relax better always notch so i'm going to continue to show you how to fold it so you first fold the remaining fabric fold once then unfold the second time so after folding take it to your machine and sew this is what we have after sewing so the front is a part that you see that is slightly curved while the back is just straight if you want you could make your bag to be a bit curvy that's a choice but this is easier for me to locate the to, to differentiate different from the back so here is me fixing the strap for the, the long strap we cut okay ensure you pin as much as possible as i'm doing here so when you pin to this very point to the neckline point okay you, you take a little break you know move the fabric down take the order the, the back depends on which one you started with so you take the back you know you shift the first one that way and I'll make sure you arrange your strap very well this could be a little tricky it could make you to start losing over and over again because it get twisted easily this one no no professional I'm telling you now so that's on a lighter note so if you measure what you have in this space that is going this space is going to serve as your strap if you feel like it's too long because you caught on bias if you feel it's too long feel free to repin so you can have your excess cut out so here is it after fixing it okay here is it after fixing it see what is looking like on the on the first arm or area i'm here to join the side seam all right so this is what it's supposed to look like it's looking very beautiful already okay here is a closer view of what i did so i'm yet to do the other side so i'll repeat the same thing here so after i have finished sewing this is what it looks like so i'm placing it on the mannequin for you to see the final look this is the final outcome and for the length this is the length is this long so if you like this tutorial kindly give me a thumbs up share like and subscribe catch you next time bye